Hi! For today's video, we will talk about how to solve systems of linear equations using inverse of a matrix method. But before we start, let us first know what a linear equation is. Below are the examples of linear equations 2x minus 3y. 3y equals 4, 5x equals 4y minus 1. Notice that these equations are equations having degree 1, meaning having 1 as their highest power, with no square to cube terms, and when plotted, a line will form the graph. How to solve systems of linear equations using inverse method? Solving systems of linear equations is not limited on using the Gauss-Jordan method, but it can also be solved using the inverse of a matrix. However, inverse and Gauss-Jordan method may be different, we can use Gauss-Jordan on finding out the inverse of the coefficient matrix. This will be further discussed on solving it. In solving an equation with a variable and coefficient tied on the left side and a vector of constants on the right, we may want to get the value of the variables by eliminating the coefficient tied with it. To achieve this goal, we can use the inverse of a matrix. So, sa introduction natin kanina, may kita natin na sa left side ay may variable and constant which is known as coefficient and sa right side naman ay yung constant. So, using the inverse of a matrix, makuha natin yung value ng variable na nasa left side to prove that these equations are correct. Next, steps on using inverse method to solve for systems of linear equation. First is to remember the equation AX is equals to B where A is the coefficient matrix, X is the variable matrix, and B is the constant matrix. Second is to find for the inverse of A and multiply it on both sides of the equation AX equals to B. Diba, sa Gauss-Jordan gumagamit tayo ng augment form ng identity matrix at ng given matrix, which is yung A augmenting identity matrix. Ito yung kailangan para ma maging identity yung left side matrix at yung value ng inverse ng A ay makukuha dun sa right side. So, paano nga ba natin makuha yung value ng variables using this inverse, using the inverse of A? After multiplying both sides by the inverse of A, makakuha tayo dito ng identity matrix multiplied by the vector of unknowns equals to the inverse of, uh, inverse of A times the matrix B. And we will now get, and we will get the form X equals to the inverse of A times B. Dito natin makakuha yung value ng unknowns na kailangan. Step 3 is to evaluate the expression. For our example, number 1, find the systems of linear equations using inverse method of 4x plus 12y plus 41z equals 3, negative 3x minus 8y minus 40z equals to negative 2, negative x minus 3y minus 10z equals to negative 7. First step is to remember our form which is ax equals to b, where a is the coefficient 4, 12, 41, negative 3, negative 8, negative 40, negative 1, negative 3, negative 10, and x is the are the variables x, y, z, while b are the constant 3, negative 2, negative 5. To get the inverse of a, we use Gauss-Jordan method. In using Gauss-Jordan method, we must first use we must first normalize the row 1 by multiplying it by one fourth, and we will get the answers for the row, the results for the row one of one, three, forty-one over four, one fourth, and zero, zero. Next is to eliminate the preceding rows and make it zero, thus multiplying three to the current value of row one plus the cur current value of row two we will get the answer for the row 2 of 0, 1, negative 37 over 40, fourths, 1, and 0. Next is also to make the row 3, 0, which, will, we, which, which we will use the equation R3 is equals to the current value of row 1 add, added to the current value of row 3. We will now get the answer 1, 3, 
41 over 41, 40, 0, 0, 0, 1, negative 37 over 40, 41, 0, 0, 0, 1, 40, 1, 40, 0, and 1. Next is to, to subtract the current value of row 1 by 3 times the current value of row 2 to make this um to make this column zero after making this column zero we will then normalize the matrix by multiplying four to row three after multiplying four to row three we will come up with the matrix one zero thirty eight negative two three zero zero one negative thirty seven four three fourths one zero 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 one one zero and four Next is to make these two rows zero, and we can do that by subtracting row by subtracting the current value of row one by thirty-eight times the current value of row three, and also adding row two with thirty-seven over four by the current value of row three, and we will now get our identity matrix. After getting our identity matrix, we would also get our inverse of A and we will then get the value of inverse of A which is negative 4, negative 3, negative 152, 10, 1, 37, 1, 0, and 4. After getting the inverse of A, we will now multiply it to our equation AX equals to B to get the value of our unknowns. After multiplying both sides by the inverse of A, we will get the identity matrix on the left side and the vector of unknowns equals to the constant 950, negative 231, negative 25. And these constants are now the value of our unknowns of X is equals to 950, Y equals to negative 31, and Z equals to negative 25. To check our equation we can plug in the answers and we can see that the values we have solved are correct now for our example two find the systems of linear equation using inverse method of 2x plus y equals 5 3x minus 2y equals 4. ngayon gagamitin naman natin ang determinants para masolve yung inverse ng ating a to get the inverse of A, we will solve first the determinant of A. Now, paano nga ba natin magamit yung determinant to solve for the inverse of A? We will get first the augmented matrix and solve for the determinants by multiplying 2 by negative 2 minus 1 times 3. And we will come up with the absolute value of A of 7. We will then use the reciprocal of our A which is 1 over 7 multiplied by the original given matrix of 2, 1, 3, and negative 2. And we will get the value of our A inverse, which is 2 over 7, 1 over 7, 3 over 7, and negative 2 over 7. Next is to remember the equation form of solving systems of linear equations using inverse, which is yung AX equals B, di ba? And after multiplying both sides of AX equals to B by the inverse of A, we will get the equation X equals to the inverse of A multiplied by B. And then dito makita natin na in-input na natin yung value ng inverse of A and B. And multiply it 2 over 7 times 5 plus 1 over 7 times 4. 3 over 7 times 5 plus negative 2 over 7 times 4, we will now get the values of x and y, which is 2, which is x equals to 2 and y is equals to 1. Next is solving the same example by using Gauss-Jordan method. We can see after solving for the inverse of a, we have got the same values of A inverse, which is 2 over 7, 1 over 7, 3 over 7, and negative 2 over 7. Na multiply naman natin sa, sa equation form na AX equals to B on both sides. 
For checking, plug in the solved values to the given equation and we have come up that the values solved were correct. For checking, plug in the solved values to the given equation and we can see that the solved values were correct. So ngayon, kung naaral na yung ghost or done away ng pag-solve ng systems of linear equation, nag-iisip kayo kung ano yung mas madaling gawin. Well, it depends kung saan kayo masanay na mag-solve. Doon nyo makikita yung convenience ng bawat way of solving. To summarize, I would just like to review the steps on solving the systems of linear equations, which are, first step is to write ax equals to b, where a is the coefficient matrix, x is the variable matrix, and b is the constant matrix. Second is to multiply both sides by inverse of a. And third is to evaluate the expression. That's the end of our discussion and thank you for listening.